our channel. Ken's in the red. Let's distinguish this first. <laughs> and then Kat is in the blue shorts. Today we are doing a full body session together in the garage gym. I'm and then upper body. Oh, did I say full body? You did. I meant upper body. <laughs> We're gonna be sharing with you guys tips that we wish we knew in the beginning of our fitness journey eight years ago. So we started working out about eight years ago and we started getting into lifting a little bit more seriously, probably like six, six and a half years ago. So we're just gonna be sharing with you guys some tips that we wish we knew then being we have gone through so much trial and mm -hmm. error and just so much personally in our own journey like we've just experienced a lot and we feel that we have some insightful information that can really just help you guys if you're starting out whether you're an intermediate beginner or even advanced trainee stay and tuned you get the good facts. let's go we're thinking five tips maybe we'll throw in an extra two for a little bonus but it's time to go train <laughs> Okay, the sliding's a little harsh, but here's our She's oods. Great. Ken's got the ombre leggings are these on. The burgundy? Those are the adapt burgundy, yeah. And then I have the newer ombre shorts on in blue. Our faves, I'm wearing an extra small, Ken's wearing a small, and then I have the new Vital Seamless Sports bra on. And Ken's got that cute bra. What is it? the it's V cut? Out. It's the V cut one. Oh yeah. Normal would be that Jim Shark logo would be showing these are in the back. Your face. They're a little and then, low cut, but they make the the little tatas look a little bit up. <laughs> and then I'm wearing the bomber. Right, we're gonna warm up and then get straight to it. I think we are. Ken, are we doing a different workout? I bet you just said Ken and I are straight to it. So you'll just see the workout when it comes. I think I'm doing a. I, oh, I'm doing something different though. Yeah, our upper body sessions aren't the same, but we'll show you guys what Kat does, and we'll show you guys what Ken does. Feeling good. I haven't broken a sweat yet, but we're getting in there. No, go ahead. Come. The first thing that we're gonna go over, tip number one, would be prioritizing weight training over cardio. The biggest mistake that we made in the beginning of our fitness journey was running straight to the freaking treadmill, doing an hour of cardio every single day, incline 15, speed three. Do not recommend. Whether your goals are to lose weight, build muscle, build up your legs, your arms, your booty, whatever, weight training is the number one thing that you can do. It's gonna allow you to eat more food, it's gonna speed up the process if you are trying to lose weight when you have more muscle on your frame you are going to be burning more calories even at a resting rate it's going to tighten and just give you that shape that you most likely desire. We would look at like people on Instagram, girls in magazines be like, oh my gosh, like how did she get her booty like that? And we thought that cardio was the way to go. Mm -hmm. That was mistake number one. And one more thing I wanna say is you can implement cardio into your training routine. I just would not have that as your sole focus. Weight training and then cardio is a tool. It's an addition mm -hmm. to get to- It's an addition to get you to your desired goals. Well, yeah, to, to your desired body goal. That's tip number one. Tip number two is gonna be fueling that body, sister. You already know how to um, do it. So at the beginning of our fitness journeys, once again, we were doing a shit ton of cardio and we dropped our calories, not really knowingly, it's just what we thought we knew and just what we have heard and like what we had seen was to like You're, eat less, Yeah. which yes, you do need to be in a calorie deficit. You also need to be fueling your body according to your goals. 
and we basically ran our metabolisms into the ground. We're eating way under calories for a long period of time, doing a crap ton of cardio. We got to a point where we initially did lose a good amount of weight, and then we were absolutely plateaued. We're like, well, we can't go any lower than this. Like, we're basically gonna like, be eating nothing. Like, what the hell do we do? Yeah. So we just, we did our research. Someone we highly recommend and highly look up to still to this day is BioLane. We have learned so much from him just regarding the process of reverse dieting. To simply put it, like, we were eating, we were eating literally like half a cup of oatmeal and a rice cake or two a day and we're eating carbs. way over our protein. We realized that we couldn't lower our calories anymore to get to our desired goal. So we're like, okay, kind of like flip the switch and we're like, let's just see what like adding a little bit more food would do. So mm -hmm. we increased our carb intake, I think like on leg days. Yeah. We increased we our started. overall calories on leg days. Mm -hmm. And we're like, whoa, like we like started seeing little changes. Mm -hmm. Like we like started to fill out more. We started getting leaner. We started but like overall losing. tire. Like we were kind of, for the first two years of our fitness already, we were over exercising and eating like hardly anything, but we still looked skinny fat. Like yeah. we didn't look muscular at all. Like yeah. we had like no leg definition. No. Like our butts our were Our progress flat. was like, just stagnant as hell until yeah. we started increasing our calories. Intake. So that was like two years into lifting. We also did play soccer for 15 years. That's just like kind of a little background. So we we did grow up like playing sports and being athletic. Once we started implement, implementing more food, we started seeing dramatic differences in our physique and our training fairly quickly. Too. Yeah, like, within like the first two months. Yeah, like we were like, we're working out so hard. We've been at this for two years. Like, why aren't we seeing results? And then like after two or three months of just eating more food and fueling our bodies, we, we started putting on We're like, muscle. okay, like this is it. Like yeah. we just, we trusted the process and then went at it from there. That was mistake number two, not fueling our bodies with the nutrients that it needs. Your body is a machine. You must feel it like one. is going to be prioritizing compound movements over accessories. A compound movement is a multi-joint movement, so a squat, a deadlift, a barbell row, a bench, a pull-up, a um, multi an, RDI, multi an RDL. Oh, you already said multi um, A compound movement is not like a cable kickback, a dumbbell curl. Or Those press. would be accessory movements, being they are single joint movements. Basing your workout around compound movements, trying to build strength with those, and then adding accessory work towards the end of your workout, and maybe using those as burnouts and hypertrophy. Compound movements are basically a really good description that I have seen and just heard around the block would be like the compound movements are going to be the tree trunk the accessories should be like the branches coming off you definitely can make progress with, with accessory works and we highly recommend implementing those into your training but having the foundation being compound movements they also do recruit so many more muscle fibers and you burn more calories while you're doing them so just a great way to build muscle and just build shape to your physique
four is going to be making sure that you're getting enough sleep every night and recovering properly. Muscle mass takes so much energy to hang on to. So if you're not getting enough sleep every night, that's going to be the first thing your body lets go of. And also just regarding getting adequate sleep and proper recovery for your training. If you are overtraining, you're going to be, your body's just going to basically run itself into the ground. When you do start implementing weight training, you'll, you'll notice that your body just you'll be a little bit tired more often like after a super hard leg day like i'm pretty i'm usually like pretty tired and i like i feel my body i feel it that it needs to rest when you're training you're basically tearing your body down and your body recovers when it is at rest when you're sleeping when you're fueling it and you need all of those things to be in line to get the best results possible Tip number five would be cut the bullshit on, on the, the weekend. weekend. Yes, and it is all about balance and like definitely allowing yourself to like be fun and be social and eat out and maybe have like, you know, just do things that you enjoy. But also you need to come to a realization that your goals require discipline like your sole focus your discipline and just being consistent I and mean, it's so easy to be on track during the week and then go balls to the walls on the weekend and regarding just losing weight and maybe building muscle to be losing body weight you need to be in over in an overall calorie deficit which if you're doing that during the week and then going way over on over. the weekend your weekly targets are going to be either at maintenance or most likely above so just doing your best to stay on track over the weekend you can definitely implement yummy foods that's like the beauty of tracking macros at least in our opinion was definitely a game changer for us i remember we used to just eat like eat clean and we would have like maybe one thing bad and then we would just go like balls to the wall so definitely allowing yourself to enjoy foods and enjoy things that you like doing in moderation, in moderation. but keep your goals in mind if that is your number one priority and remember your why to be not comparing your journey to anybody else's and being patient but also honest with yourself um not comparing to uh, like look at it like a book like okay you're just starting your fitness journey and you're looking up to whoever you may be looking up to they're most likely like halfway through the book or maybe on chapter 12 rather than your chapter one i think it's important to use people as motivation and maybe an inspiration just regarding how they work out their lifestyle their mindset etc being patient with yourself and like taking everything day by day that's just gonna help you get to where you're wanting to go faster opposed to like getting discouraged because you don't look like this person on social media like if you're not exactly where you want to be you're most likely at a different place in your journey than they are for example we've been at this for eight plus years now it has taken us that long to get to where we are i mean i remember barely being able to squat like a 25 or not even being able to do a pull up etc yeah. and people are like how do you like how'd you get to be able to do a pull-up it's a literally it just, just consistent time. consistency being patient with yourself for the 10th time and then also being honest with yourself and pushing yourself pushing yourself most likely harder than you think you are or than you than you currently are a lot of people don't even unleash their full potential because they aren't bringing the intensity into your training nor are they being extremely consistent with your nutrition so once again like the basics must be in line for you to get to where you want to be be patient with yourself and be kind to yourself and be honest with yourself and i know i can do a better job of that because i'm i'm like just like a little rundown of what i'm going through i don't know i'm ken that's cat i'm currently still struggling with a little hip injury but it's like I find myself comparing like my training session and my strength and like my overall body composition to like how I was even like mm -hmm. four to five months ago and it like mm -hmm. it like it like fucks me up like it like makes me not feel that great so it's like when I kind of like flip that switch and just kind of like look forward to like where I'm going opposed mm -hmm. to like where I was mm -hmm. it's like I'm only gonna continue to move forward and make progress so it's mm -hmm. like there's no point on like dwelling in the past or like dwelling on where I'm not it's like 
I'm learning to just enjoy the process and I know it's gonna it's a day-by-day -day thing and it's baby steps and I'm getting to where I need to go um and just continuing and just to, to like just forward. just like yeah just like staying mm -hmm. positive mm -hmm. with um my personal journey Very is that good well said. Regarding like focusing on things day by day focus on the little things focus on the things that you can control and focus on the things That are going to make you better every Facts. single day drinking your water being on point with your nutrition getting training sleep. hard Those things all add up take a step back looking at the bigger picture can definitely overwhelm you just regarding your goals and like Where you're at versus may versus where you may want to be you will get there when prioritizing the small things with that being said We hope you guys enjoyed this video um, um, we had a lot of fun doing it. I hope you guys all were able to take home. <laughs> I feel awkward. Yeah, I hope you guys were all able to take home some information and use all of these tips towards your own fitness journey and you are able to learn from our mistakes. We will see you guys in the next one. If you guys like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Follow us on the to gram. support your girls. And Peace we will see out. you next week.